let's continue and okay to purchasing all right now um i think another core would be very very useful and i'm if we're going to build it we're going to build it with everything here okay um for the french um no not an hq a brigade is all we could really do here um well we could do mexican empire um that would at least show up in mexico instead of having to transport it there okay 375 yeah i guess we can afford that um now the other thing we can see about doing and i don't know um obviously we have um these um things here that are mostly now clear um european mobilization may increase so that we're clearing the union away from these points union vessels uh but we could see about bringing in um okay it's not letting us i was hoping it was going to give us um oh well, maybe the, oh, the confederacy can that's right okay um okay um yeah we'll spend 200 mpp just do it fairly early do it now don't have enough to also well i mean we do but not enough that i feel comfortable also doing it with spain this turn we'll see about it in the future spain is obviously right now closer to joining uh but I don't think we need to keep you here. Now, let's see. This will be the fastest way to the railroad. We could send you to join Long Street out in his region. Right. Boost by the recapture of Baton Rouge. Very good. So, okay, we're getting more British supply coming in. Right. Sure there's somebody in Port Hudson there. Okay, progress on skirmishers, very good. Right, good. Spanish mobilization reaches 30%. Well, they weren't the ones we put the effort in. Yes, okay, you get Athens. That's fine. You get Athens. Ooh, they left the port. Ooh, maybe we could chase them down. Well, good thing our brigade is in good shape there. He may survive. The one unit reinforced. And the cavalry is very weak, so they'll probably reinforce it if they can or retreat. Ah, oh, that regiment. Oops. Hey, Frere Oakenshield! Thanks for coming by. Better at bushwhackers, right? Okay, they still hold Fort Hudson. We're going to push up on that. And they're still keeping that port. Right? Yeah. That's right. Supply down in that area. Okay, we got Union guys out there. Union guys way up in Cairo. Mexican Brigade. Um, 
Well, where do we want to? I don't know. Um, do we want to push up with all these Frenchies, or do we want to push and secure some of our other terrain? Well, for the moment, we'll go north. All right, very good. Now. Oh. Okay, well, the uh, Union damaged ironclad left and is in there. Uh, we damaged the port, but not the ironclad. Okay, um, well, you're going to get repaired this time. Uh, you're going to move away from the guns of that port because we don't really want to do a long-range gunnery duel with the fort now, do we? Okay, uh, the supply that bad? Mm, yeah, not terribly great. Okay. Um, We're down there. Well, hello. Well, he can't move, even though he still sort of has an action point. All right, well, Maybe one point not good enough. Let's move it out of the line of fire. Well, no, he's not strong enough to take that. It'll be painful, but oh, almost took you out. Okay. Now, I think we will see if... Oh, that's... No, no, no. Um... That's going to be painful. Uh, way, way too painful. Yeah, I think he'd be get just way too crushed if we go into there. Now down here.
Please get you out of the way. There we go. Looks like we get Fort Monroe there. And the port. Very good. Okay, you guys. Get back up that way and... And we'll just move up there. We'll be sort of sounded more like a UFO than to the submarine, I guess. But I don't know what would a Civil War submarine sound like. Okay, well, we'll get you there. We'll see about putting you on rails next turn. Well, let's do a little bit of reconnaissance here with our... Vessels, okay, well. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. Yeah, these ironclads would have been slow, I do believe. Okay, well, I'm, you know, obviously ships can go out to sea and back around and we can spread out a little bit further here but we've largely uh, stopped the union from sending more vessels south Oh, uh, no, that's not close enough. I can't get down to here. Um, with the rails, because this is the thing with the, the Confederacy. The rails just don't connect everywhere. And that is why that they were doing so bad. Hey, Beam Slam. Didn't the sub have an engine at all? No, the sub did not. Um, this, well, yes, the sub had an engine. It was a crankshaft that was um, cranked by humans. So it had a propeller, and it had a um, at least from the you know the movie. I there's a like a made for TV movie about the Hunley, um, and you know in which they're you know sort of a um, I don't know sawtooth or or like the castellated or whatever you know the edge of the castle you know up and down like that that they would um, manually do. And there was the I the belief is that it um sinks because of um you know carbon monoxide poison carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, whatever. You breathing out. Um I get those two confused. Um whether it's one or two, mon or die. Um but uh, you know, bad air uh in it. They believe it's that as opposed to the other thought I think and they've they've got it. They've got, they found, I think they've recovered the Hunley now, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've looked into it. Um, as opposed to it being like damaged, some of the thought was that maybe it was damaged from the attack. Um, you know, the underwater shock wave. But um, yeah, so it was just um, man powered. In this game, can you build rail destroyer? You cannot. Um, build railroads, no. Um, and you cut it simply by owning the territory. Um, you don't destroy railroads. So, um, I don't think there was much building of strategic level, you know, I'm not talking spar lines or definitely repairing railroad during the war, but I don't think there was much building of rail 
the Confederacy just didn't have the iron or the steel. They just didn't have it. Um, so that's what CO2 from exile air, uh, O2 or CO from combustion. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So CO2 poisoning. Got too bad of that, I believe, is the current. Oh, that. No. Well, we're going to fall back a little bit here. Our our expedition in there is um we're gonna come to here. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Okay, good. I just really wanted to like see where you were at. Do what we can do and grind you down and take you out. Okay, well, there we go. Steady return to the Confederacy. We know there's probably a core here and a core somewhere up around here. Um, but we're really pushing for Nashville. But to get to Nashville, we need to not be, you know, pushed down from here and cut off. Because we have these two armies here. So, yeah. Um, I think, though, right now we're just going to spend the MPP on reinforcing a lot of these guys so that when our push does come, it will be effective. Well, I think that's all we can really do right there and down here. Up here, hmm. Okay, these guys are really sort of getting down. down. See their their morale and their Readiness are going down so much that we may get away with no damage, very little damage. Uh, okay, gamer's going to try to be smart. Move our horses around so that we see. Oh, we maybe should have reinforced him instead. Okay, so we're going to come back up here. That is a little bit of um, separating our horses. Um, oh, hello, you're still here. I thought maybe you had left. There we go. We don't want to lose primary supply there, but guys, no, we're out of supply enough. Okay, well, we'll we'll draw back to there. Well, maybe my dreams of taking that port are okay. See if we try to. Oh, we. Oh, I, I forgot to do that last turn. Oh, damn. Um. These guys, I think, need to go into a port. So. Um. Can they come up the river here? Well, 
Yeah, I think so. So we'll go, we have to go around that. Man, I forgot about them, I think, last turn. Okay, these guys aren't coming to take that. Do we... See, if we send them over here, we can't get... We can get to these Confederates, I think, via railroad. But we can't get down to Louisiana, so I think we will skip going there. And we'll reinforce the French up here. Yes. And... There we go. Yep, like this. So that uses up most of the French MPP. Confederacy here. Um, push in. We like to attack. They, they attack. They attack. Yeah. Okay. Um. Feel confident here, maybe stupidly so, but I still am. And we're pushing in here pretty well, so that may come down, go down next turn. Let these guys, one way or another, get them. Yeah, I'm looking all right over here. So that looks good. So, um, Let's no, we need to go to diplomacy now. Yeah, we'll spend it just for funsies. We already have the one railway gun, airway battery, or whatever it's called, um, other timber clad, yeah, okay, we could do that, put those on the Mississippi, and let's see about another core, it'll be our last core, I guess, um, yeah, let's get that, that'll be all of our cores, we still got four more divisions we can get, we could now be there. Okay, we could get a Choctaw. Uh, we could get a Seminole. All right. In time. Okay, they lose fighting spirit due to the loss of Fort Monroe. British ships run the blockade to Charleston. Yes. Right, lots of MPP. Oh, they're going back there. See, I was hoping to... Yeah, oh, they're going somewhere. Then he moves into enough supply to get ready for resupply. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. Yeah, cost us a little bit. Oh, a monitor came in here. I don't think he knew he was here, and he got really messed up. Okay, the river ironclad. Ooh, that was painful. That was very painful. I forgot to move these guys down here. Oh, man. Well, the French and the, the Mexicans took a siesta this last turn. Damn, I forgot all about the Mexican front. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm talking too much. Hope you're enjoying the, the chatter, along with the gameplay. To me, wargaming is about what-ifs. Now, this is, as Plastic X and I were talking about earlier in the stream, a very sort of extreme what-if as opposed to just different strategic decisions by the Confederacy or whatever. Um, but I've come to the belief that 
it's a vaguely plausible if the union, like I said, starts making a lot of noise about um, French operations. Twelve warships of the Russian Navy visit San Francisco and New York. How interesting. But they visit both sides. Is it the same 12 that sail all the way? Because there's no Panama Canal at this time. Niagara frigate sunk, right? That was the Union frigate. Okay, we got another core. Now, are we coming here? Where well, we got a lot of forces. Um. Well, okay, so our furthest... Uh, so we can't we come here march up with this core because we've got this core here we got um this core here i mean those are damaged but we got in that division that division and we don't really need even a division we could be a little we could move um the richmond garrison out to fort monroe or just simply have the the vessel sitting there. So I think we're pretty good here. Um, so I think we're going to come down here, put them on a railway hex, just in case we decide to move them via railway. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Contact. Yeah, I, I know if you get skirmishers or scouts or whatever, things get a lot better, but. I don't really have that right now. And yes, get out of the ship. There we go. Finally, you made it. You went the wrong way. Sorry. That was my my problem that you went the wrong way. Well, I hope it totally killed the unit, but no, okay. Uh huh. Gameplay and history chatter. Hello, Hannibal Bonaparte. Oh, yeah, that's what I sort of offer. Is gameplay and history chatter. Okay, these guys are in such bad shape. We're just gonna reinforce them. Reinforce them. I know I was gonna take out that cavalry in it, but no. You right out there, show okay. That's what I wanted to see if there was anybody out there. Ooh. Yeah, let's and hopefully just eliminate them. There we go. Don't you come up in its place? No, no, don't make suicide attacks or anything weird like that. Okay, um that's on the town. Um do better once we get to some fortifications that need knocking down. Yeah. Write it on my business card. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Okay, I really don't know. Well, I think I can just come up with this thing. Bye-bye. Oh, this one down here. He needs to... Oh, 
Well, we're in Chesapeake Bay. Now realize the importance of all of this um, here, this bit of land here. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's um, right here is sort of Yorktown, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure here's Yorktown is right here. This is where, you know, um, Cornwallis... British general during the, um, you know, American War of Independence or the Revolution, however you want to say it, is, you know, basically has, you know, the South sort of kind of controlled, but he can't spread his forces out and hold it. Um, you know, to try to do, um, uh, you know, try to hold the territory from, you know, guerrilla type actions. So he basically burns his, um, his baggage train. Um, there is still, I believe, a garrison down in Savannah. I don't know that there's a garrison in Charleston. I'm not sure. Um, and then takes his army marching up here, um, doing a rather good job of it. I'm just summarizing things here. Um, I'm remembering bits and pieces, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Ah, embarrass myself by getting some of that stuff wrong. But it comes up here, and um, there's, you know, the main sorts of army up here. The other large army, the other last really large army that the British have is in this area. Now, while he's doing some of that, I believe, um, I'm going to say Nepusen, uh, a, was he Dutch or was he German? I think he was German, leads a, um, an expedition into New Jersey that eh, does okay. And then goes back to, to New York. And this is a rel relatively decent maneuver army, but it is sort of, um, bogged down in holding New York. And so um, Cornwallis comes up here, but Washington has taken the opportunity with what's going on to move his army down south, and the French show up. The French are, shall we say, fair-weather allies of the Americans at this time. And I mean that literally. The French are concerned that, I mean, they, they want to disrupt um, uh, the British Empire, but they're super concerned about down here, okay, the, the Sugar Islands. Um, we can see some of their, uh, oh, where, you know, some of their holding are out and around here. They're super concerned about here. Also, you know, Haiti and whatnot. That's what they're concerned with. But something happens here for one season out of the year. Hurricanes. And hurricanes and ships do not go well together. They just don't. So during hurricane season, two things that the French take into consideration. One, they don't want their ships down here. And two, the British also don't want their ships down here, so the British are going to move their ships out as well. So their their island garrisons are not under major threat. So earlier in the war, um, nope, that's all right, Nova Scotia. Here, Rhode Island. They come up um, and take Rhode Island, which actually sort of the the, um, uh, the island part of Rhode Island, which is actually the greater bulk of the state here. It's a sort of a micro state, really, actually. Um, take that at one point, um, occupy it, and then eventually withdraw. Um, and then another the other year, and again, I'm not sure exactly on the years, they come up here and they land a French army 
because and it's de Grasse is the French admiral and what um oh uh, no not Montcalm oh boy I'm I'm forgetting I'm actually forgetting not blanking on who the the French general is here um lands his army and the combination of the armies are just too much for Cornwallis to try to do um to take on and so um the British fleet come here, fight a battle, and lose. Or basically get driven off. The French actually, de Grasse does rather well, drives the French off from the Chesapeake Bay. Um, so you can't so they cannot um evacuate Cornwallis via the sea. Cornwallis try, you know, and things are getting worse and worse. Supplies are going down, food, food, whatever's going down. I would say uh, from my readings, the casualty exchange rate is favoring the British, but the um, uh, the idea of the siege artillery that they can't really answer is is pounding on them. And like I say, food is cut off. And so eventually things aren't going to go well. So they try to evacuate um, one night across up to the north here and then to try to escape with this very good, very light maneuver army that Cornwallis has, but that just collapses and falls apart. And so they surrender and that there goes the last real maneuver army. I mean, yes, I do. I will say that there was another one here, but it is an, an army about the same size and probably about the same professional level as Cornwallis's but it is bogged down holding New York and the environments there. Um, and so if it, if it decides to go anywhere, um, there's enough Patriot units that would be able to take it. Whatever garrison they would leave at New York would be too, too, too minor to hold. So it's not an army. It, it's, it's a maneuver army that is pinned down just by needing to hold the strategic location. And so that functionally ends the American part of the American Civil War. So this is here, this Chesapeake, holding the Chesapeake Bay, the mouth of the Chesapeake, holds a lot, you know, there there is no um, commercial port at um, Washington, D.C. I mean, there's maybe a small, minor little thingy there, but it's really up here, you know, Baltimore um, and whatnot, as well as holding um, Virginia's um, main uh, supply to the sea. And so this is a strategic position for um, the American War of Independence, the War of 1812. Um, somewhere in and around here is, um, oh, uh, this is one I do know, but I'm blanking on. Um, uh, the fort that the Americans hold, is it Monroe? No, Monroe, I don't think was president yet. Um, uh, no, um, well, maybe I just don't. I don't remember where the Star Spangled Banners is. Um, uh, Francis Scott Key writes it while watching the the siege of it, and of course, you know, the British come in and burn um, Washington D.C., including the Capitol building that was just under construction at the time. Um, but yeah, um, so that is so. This is all, and then of course the American Civil War. So this. This bit of territory right here is super strategic importance for um, things going on in America, shall we say. Uh, whether it's the Civil War or um, other wars. Okay, we're going to send you out here. We're going to, well, we'll wait till we get, well, no, we're not going to wait. We're going to, we're going to move you out just because we have Naval supremacy. So let's just come up here. So I don't. I think we would see any ships in there. So if there's anything up there, we're now blocking it with that vessel. We're going to come out here and come out here. With these guys hanging around. And let's move up our Confederate ironclad.
No. Um, yes, let's let's move you up to here. Up here, let's about mm. now we're gonna try to move as a whole, so we'll just wait for whatever reaction that might come from the, some of the cores down here. Yeah, they wrecked that unit. It is almost dead. But... I'm going to try to return the over. Okay, at least we see that that is clear. I can't, I'm sure there's somebody there, and I'm not going to bump into them right now. Worked out better than I thought. Really. Yep, yeah, I was right. The whole core is right up there. You fall back, just because we see a core there. Use the mobility of cavalry, where it is able to be done and useful. And here, let's see. Can't, yeah, seven points, that's good enough. Yeah, we got just a division over there, so that holds down the flank. Now, over here. Probably can't retreat. Well, no, we could have retreated, I guess, because we see that that was empty. Um, this mountain division. Okay, well. And, oh. Well. I guess we keep pushing since this is a division. It looks, I guess they're withdrawing deeper into here. Um, just how bad is supply down here? I thought it would be, okay, three, four, next turn better. So, um, must be somebody down in here holding this. So, because otherwise we would have picked that out up, I think. My understanding the logic of the game. Well, fortunately, we cannot move you up the rivers. I do want to move you to port for. Likely repair. Okay, there are some new people here. I know old friends like Plastic Gangster and Beam Slam often hang out with me on my channels, but um, I love streaming here for Slytherin, and everyone should follow the channel. Um, but I do have my own YouTube channel where I also play games and give you lots of history chatter and i stream for myself mostly on the weekends um on twitch so you can follow my um twitch channel there if you like um and especially if you want to see this this continued because um most of next month, I'm going to be streaming, get me down streaming different games. So, um, I do want to continue this. So, if they're not going to have me stream here on Slytherin, I will definitely be at least making episodes and putting up on my YouTube channel if you want to see how this goes. Um, but, uh, now that I may be back a after, you know, um, sometime, I, I, you know, uh, Doing more of this because I really do enjoy uh, strategic command. So um, hope to see you there and then. And I will be back 
like I say, playing some other games, I think next week or the week after next, one of the two, I have to look at the schedule, but, um, so thank you all.